Um, here we are. Now, on the theme of sacrifice, the president was saying that, um, you know, our sacrifices will not be in vain. And um, one can think of a lot of sacrifices that Nigerians are making now. So, you know, uh, we are still in the middle of we're in the throes of the NLC strike and uh, waiting to hear from the president. In the meantime, they've said what they've said. Um, let, let's look at the sacrifices because Mr. President has continued to emphasize that I hear you, I feel your pain, um, but for now it's necessary. Um, it's, it's, not, it's, it's a difficult task, isn't it? It's a difficult task selling this sacrifice. Uh, because a lot of people feel that. Um, in fact, there are those who are going to say that na sacrifice a good job. How would you react to that? Ah, well, uh, it, it won't be too good if we look at it from that angle of na sacrifice a good job. Because sincerely, uh, this period, uh, the Salah Festival coming at a period like this, is to remind all of us of the fact that we can take Nigeria to where it ought to be. Together, but it requires sacrifices, a lot of it. Indeed, a lot, a lot of it. it. Because while the people, understandably, expect the leaders to make a lot of sacrifices, mm. the leaders too, they are sitting in the saddle. They understand what needs to be done. And that's why they are also saying, look, while we will do that which we expect of us, there are needs for you too to be sacrificial. Like uh, my principal, Governor Dapabiodo, in his own message, also stressed the, he, he stressed the need for selflessness. Which is a form of if, And even sacrifice on mm -hmm. its own. Apart from, you, you, we need to think less at this point. If we must get Nigeria and our various states and our various communities out of the wood. But that is not to say one is downplaying the difficulties that most Nigerians find themselves in. It's just that um, we, 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 we have to be real, as it were. Uh, we have to say it as it is. Because, um, and it's, quite frankly, it's a tough job. Because, okay, take for instance the sacrifice that we have made. Uh, sometimes when sacrifices are made, look at the sacrifice, if you want to call it that, uh, of the first day of President Tinumbu's uh, you know, uh, day in office. He took out the subsidy, the fuel subsidy, then he collapsed the uh, exchange rates into one. Now, all of these had, uh, it had a, 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 a punch, something of a sucker punch on all of us. Um, we're talking about inflation being where it is. There are those who are saying that that's, those things were the cause. But actually, we were made to understand that Nigeria was in a very, very critical condition. For uh, the coming of this administration. Before the coming of this. Bayo Nonoga was saying in a different context yesterday that the, this administration inherited a zero. You know, there was nothing that was inherited. So it's not as if this administration caused the problems that well, we well, have. Right, that this administration is trying to take us away from the brink. And will take and us out of the operating if you, pressure. If you, if you look at it, perhaps we got to that point where things were so bad mm. before the coming of this administration. Mm -hmm. Because sacrifices were not made in the past. Yes, this is the whole... Because we were not, as a people, government, leaders, followers, because all of us were not selfless enough in the past. And now we have leaders who said, look, together, let us make sacrifices. Mm, mm. Together, let us save this nation from near collapse. Because from what... Experts, even experts outside government, are telling us now it could have been worse if those drastic measures had not been taken. Had not been taken. For example, talking about subsidy, the people, while subsidy was being paid, we, the people, were not benefiting. The only benefit we had was buying fuel at that subsidized rate. But our collective patrimony was being frittered away into the pockets of a few. Mm. So now the presidency, the leadership is saying, look, let's move away from that era of little gain, plenty losses. Let us find how we can benefit more from what is ours together. 
And that's the road we are on now. And, and from state to state, each administration is expected to localize this strategy in a way that the people, while making sacrifices, will also see hope. That's, that's, that's they will see part of it. They the, see the good support. use of money is being saved. Mm. And that's why, if you, if you make Ogun State an example, the inf infrastructural drive we are carrying on now is made possible by such sacrifices on the part of the people and government. The ability to bring in more people into the workforce, employ as much as 4,000 teachers in one uh, single uh, act, is made possible by such sacrifices. The ability of this current administration in Ogun State under Prince Dakwa Abiodu to start an airport project and conclude such, get it ready for operation within four years, five years, are uh, outcomes of such sacrifices. And that is offering hope. It is only when this is not being done that we could have the fear that the sacrifices of the people will be in vain. But because this is being done at that level, and because the presidency too is ensuring that the gains of these sacrifices are in turn used to make life better for the people. That is the most important. That is what the people want to because see. Because that's all the people want. That is what the people um, want to see. Um, because, look, <laughs> we're talking about sacrifices um, because it is, it, it is facing us. It is really in our face. Yeah. Um, because all these sacrifices, part of it, no doubt, is the fact that our spending power has gone where it has gone. Yeah. You know, our food inflation, uh, whatever, or, you know, headline inflation, all of that. Um, it, it has to be seen in terms of a sacrifice because the president has always saying that um, always been saying that. Look, it's tough, and I know it's tough. I feel he, your pain too. Yes, he knows it's tough, but the big trick is how to now get people on side to see that. Look, in your pains, I guess that's where perhaps government itself uh, is going to have to, in addition to all that you've said have something, do something to show the people that we are sacrificing. Right. Uh, because people have called into programs like this before and said, is it only uh, us at the base of the pyramid uh, that must sacrifice? Uh, meaning, or suggesting that at the very peak, you know, at the very peak of the pyramid, uh, not very much is seen by way of sacrifice because of how you know, you know, the people we, we are, um, we, are still living. we are, an it does look a bit uh, anything but sacrificial. It does look a bit opulent. Now, okay, you, you, you disagree. See, as somebody who is in government, you see, I can only speak for the administration and part of your me. example. And I tell you, I, I don't see frivolity, frivolity, you know, in fact, His Excellency Prince Dakwabiodo. Is one man who wants to put every penny that belongs to the people mm -hmm. to good use for the people. Mm -hmm. And he, his administration is not a, a gangantua one. It's not one that is big. You okay. can cross check that. Okay. He has not gone on an appointment spree, mm -hmm. appointing this, appointing that, because he realized that we need to cut cost. Aside that, there are so many things that ordinarily uh, you would take for granted that, yes, the uh, people in government will be enjoying this, that the governor will tell you, look, this is for us. We can do this later. Okay. okay. Let's look at how we can put this resource.